Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to level this out on this side, right here. Alright, now we're going to, it is, um, let's see what we have here. Here to here we have 22. All right, let's. We need to get at least two uh, strips to go on each side, and I want it on three sides. So what I'm going to do is, no, I think what I'm going to do is take um, 22. Uh, let's see. Yeah, divided into six is what. 3.6 but I'm going to go 3 inches on each one because I want about 3 inches that sounds about right to me I'm going to change rulers because this right here is exactly 3 inches so I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to cut me out should get I think I got 6 of them we're going to see if I'm right so three inches on each one. One, two, oh no. Uh uh. Nope, I ain't gonna try that. I've changed this uh, thing. I think it's my mats just to getting too old and all. But I have changed the uh, blade in it. But it'll be alright. We're gonna go on. Alright, there's two. Three. And thanks to the one that told me I need to change my blade. Because you were right. Okay, we got one, two, three, four. Okay. Here is five. And this one right here would be six. Right here. So out of that whole thing that we had, that whole bulk, that's what I got left over. <laughs> okay, so now we have these cut out. Now, we have three inches here. Three. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Let's go about try to get about four more on uh, on this right here. I want about four inches on it. So I've got this one right here, and it's going to go towards the back because there's so much of it, and it'll look a whole lot better on the back. So let's look work on the gray. And I want it the long, yeah, the long way. And I only need about two strips of this one to make it. So, let's see if, let's open this up this way. Yep. We'll cut it this way. So I can have the longer strips. Alright. Yes. Work on one end. I think I probably need to fold it now. I think that'd be good. All right, we got three, three, four, five, six, seven. So about four inches on this one. So let's go right here, and we want this. So we're going one, two, three, four, and we're going to give her a whack. 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. And then we'll be back after I sew them together. I'm going to make them into three things. So I want two. I want it on this side and the bottom. I do not want it on the top. So I'm going to get these done and sew together and then we'll be back. Okay, these strips are a total of six inches. So I want to cut these right here down to six inches. First I'm going to trim it off. Okay. Then I'm going to go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, whack. And I want six of these because these are here is what's going to go on the very back. So I'm going to cut all these out and then we'll be back. For now, she's took it over my cutting mat. What are you doing? Why are you taking over my cutting mat? Well, I've got these two done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out my fiber fill. And I'll, when I get my cutting mat back, if she'll let me. I wonder if you can hear her. You hear her. Hmm? What are you, what are you doing, Mama? What are you doing? I have you. You're on here for good now. Alrighty, now that we've done that, now we want to lay this out, and we want to start leveling all this around, rimming it off. Now we'll be back. Okay. Now I know this is going to sound weird, but we're going to take one of our fiber fills. <clears throat> Actually, we're going to take two of them not the same way. And we are going to take one of our white strips. <clears throat> we're going to lay it on top of it. No, 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 no. And we're going to turn it over like this. And we're going to get one. Wait a minute. We need to just, no, keep it this way. All right, let me get it right. It's too early in the morning. Three hours sleep is not enough. Okay. And we'll take this one. I know what I got in mind. I just got to do it. All right. And we want to do two of them this way. I'm going to sew right here across the top. So we're going to do two of them the same way. I have in mind what I got planned. Alrighty, so when I get these two done, then we'll be back. Do this. Uh, do one like this and the other one like this. In other words, uh... Do a mirror image of it because you have one for one side and one for the other side and, and all because you don't want to uh, make it like this one right here starting out on the, next to the quilt and this one on the other side doing next to the quilt. You want them both the same. So, okay. So, let me put you up here and get things moved around. Alrighty. Now then. What we're going to do is we're going to 
gonna take this one. And we're gonna put it and the fiber fill. Like this. Because we want it on the back. And we're going to give us some room back there. Let's see how much room we got here. Yeah, we're going to go a little bit more. Okay. And now, we are going to pin it down. I can't hardly reach it over here. I'm going to squeeze over and do some work. Okay. Work with me here. Okay. Alright. Now, we're going to put this strip right on top of that one. Now, what we want to do is, let's see, it would be, yep, this way. We want to put the brown right next to the quilt top. And we want to leave our space up here, too. I know. So, here we go with pinning that down. Make sure I get this right. I know. Okay. So, we're going to do this all the way across, and then we're going to sew it down. Okay. And when you get it on, you want to make sure you got all of it, all the way down. Yep, so far, so good. Okay, now, I, I need to take and take off a couple stitches down through here, because I forgot to, to do it when I make, when you make minor quarters, you can't, Go all the way, well, can I get my thing in there or not? There we go. And I forgot to tell you, we're going to make modern quarters. And I just went ahead and sewed right on. See, I need, I need to get more sleep. Three hours is not enough. But these days are about ready to be over, thank goodness. Okay. Alrighty, now then, what we're going to do now is, okay, shut that door, okay, that's enough. Now we're going to take one side of it, and let me turn it around here, and we're going to start working on one side of it. I want to come down here and start working on it first. Now. find one of them. Made me happy. <laughs> <laughs> we need the one that goes will lay the brown right here on the quilt and the back 
You see how I got this like this? This is the way we want it. You see how I got the quilt back in there? And how I got the... Okay. I think you get the gist of it. So, now then, I got to fight with this thing all the way down. Because I ain't got a table big enough. <laughs> but make sure the brown is against the quilt. Pin it out. So I'm going to get busy with this and do it all the way down. And I'm going to do the other side the same way so that they will both be on. But we've got mitered corners down there at the very bottom. So I'm going to get this done. Then we'll be back. I work on all minor corners. So in the sides on the other one, I've got them both on now. So all three of them are on. But look what happened. I'm going to have to make her move so we can work on our minor corners. So let me get this straightened out, Miss Kitty Cat. Okay, I'm working difficult things here. So anyway... What I've, I've laid it out in half. I have to put it up here because if I don't, it'll fall off. But there goes the cat. Hooray! All right, now the first one I'm going to be taking down like this. I'm going to straighten these four up. I'm getting rid of that one. And now I just have this. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this all the way across right here like this. And then I'm going to mark it all the way up. And that is my sew line. So, we're going to have a problem here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take a piece of paper and pin it down on both sides. Maybe if I can get a hold of some pins here and pin it down. So I don't have the uh, fiber feel showing. Okay, now then I need to find me another piece of paper. And we're going to do both sides the same way. And there's me another pin. Put another pin in there. Like that. Now then, let's do this again. Right like this. Oh, what happened to the marker? There it is. Okay. I'm gonna lay that like that, and we're gonna mark it, and we're gonna sew right down that line there, and then that paper will rip off. And I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna do the other side the same way, so I have both of these done. Okay, I've got. This one's so done, I ain't got to the other one yet. I figure I'll just go ahead and finish this one up and then do the other one. Okay? So now all we're going to do is just rip this paper away. <clears throat> now then, the next step is we're going to give her a whack off. Right here. But if you open it up, you see we have a good miter corner there okay so i'm gonna cut this one off find a needle. you don't need no needle i, I don't need a needle in four yeah right yeah i did well where's it at in a tiny mouth well why'd you put it in trash because we're broken oh okay broken. well next time don't throw them in trash okay because somebody can get hurt on i have a special thing for them all right, so I'm just going to give it a whack off right there. There we go. Uh-oh. We thought we did, huh? I'll see the needle. Okay. I'll Maybe now. Okay. So, now then, we're going to want to work on the other side. I should have got my scissors in the beginning. 
There we go. Now I lost a pair because they fell out of my thing here. Okay. So now we got to work on the other side. Let me get this stuff out of my way. All right. Now we got to flip everything over. This thing is hard to manage. I'm telling you, it is. It's hard to manage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I hope you can still see me. I don't know. Let's see if I can turn it around. If it'll help. Maybe you can see me down here at this end. Alright. I'm going to take this one. Fold it back. Lay this one out. Grab my my uh, plexiglass, and then I'm gonna lay it down. And I'm not going by the fiber field. I'm going by the quilt. Go up some like that. And then I'm gonna make me a mark, and then I'm gonna pin it down. And take it and sew it down. So I'll be back when I get that done. And then I'm going to have to find the other side. And do it the same identical way. So I'll be back. Okay, I've got this side done. So this time I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it. And I'm... Um, Leaving my seam line. Alright. Two pins there. Let me get my pins out so I'll throw them away. Alright. Now then. We are going to open it up and let you see it. See here? Alrighty, I got the other side to do, but I think that looks pretty good. Now, when I get the other side done, I'm going to sew right down here, all the way around, and right down in here, on these two sides right here. So, I'll be back after I get all that done. I wanted to show you this. This is where we sewed it before. You know, right across the top. And you probably thought I was crazy. Okay. The reason why we did this is because when we sew a strip across here, this would have all will will be fixed to where it won't be all messed up here and look gawky and everything. You'll see what I'm talking about. But there's this. Now I'm gonna start sewing down these sides here and get all that straightened out. Yes, this is the same video you just seen. It is getting very long, so I'm going to start another one. And when we come back, I'm going. we're going to work on scallop borders. I'm going to put scallops on them. So, when we get back, you're going to see some. So, I'll see you on the next tutorial.